The latest on the Omicron variant, the highly contagious strain continues to spread in New York State. And today, the COVID positivity rate across the state, 22.5%. In New York City, it's 21.4%. In the northern suburbs, which the state refers to as the Mid-Hudson region, 24.4%. On Long Island, the positivity rate is the highest in the state, 27.3%. CBS 2's Jenna DeAngelis has more. The halls of St. Anthony's High School quiet Tuesday with students virtual the past two days, a decision the principal of the South Huntington School made December. The reason we did that was twofold. One, to assess staffing. Could we open safely with our numbers? And two, with families, Many could not get tested. Students return Wednesday and they're prepared for any staff shortages. We have called in all of our subs to come every day, regardless of if we need them or not. Hicksville schools handed out at home tests in a drive through Tuesday. The district is temporarily remote, along with Freeport, Westbury, and Glen Cove schools, noting in these letters staff impacts from COVID. As cases soar, Long Island continues to have the highest positivity rate in the state. We are currently experiencing the heart of this current Omicron surge. The medical director of North Shore University Hospital says it tests all patients for COVID. About 200 admitted are positive. For now, it's holding off on scheduling new surgeries that can wait a few weeks. We intend to do roughly 50 to 70 percent of what we would normally do uh, in terms of surgery, but it's a very careful, selective look. Mount Sinai South Nassau says it's rescheduling most elective surgeries that require an overnight stay, as about one third of its beds have COVID patients. Nearly 200 employees are out sick or in quarantine. First responders urge people to avoid going to emergency rooms to get tested and continue using EMS services for emergencies only. People can test themselves at home instead of overwhelming these healthcare facilities, which has been really the biggest problem uh, versus hospitalizations. Nassau County Executive Bruce Blakeman says more resources are coming. We are in the process of acquiring more test kits, setting up vaccination pods. We're very confident that this is manageable and that we will be in good shape in Nassau County. Jenna DeAngelis, CBS 2 News. We have many COVID-19 resources on our website, including information on vaccines, testing site locations, and more. To get there, easily scan the QR code you see on our screen. All the information is at cbsnewyork.com.